I'm Nina Seo. Hi everyone, this is Ariel, one half of So Do For Two, and this is a watching now of a Taiwanese drama, Just You. Um, it's up to episode four right now. I am in love with this drama. Um, I'm surprised I didn't do the watching now yet, but I've been kind of busy, so I haven't gotten the watching now up yet. But this drama has two main characters, and there's a few other characters that are really cute. Uh, but the two main characters, we have um, Yan, Aaron, and Kyo Puff, and she is um, a singer, and we also saw her in... Um, another drama, I can't think of what it is, maybe like Miss Rose, I think she was in, and then, he, I've never seen him before, but I think he's been in a couple of the dramas, um, but what's great about this show, the plot, is it's, it reminded me immediately of Full House, uh, the Korean drama, because it's like the sort of idea of this girl who's living in this, uh, this house, and all of a sudden, it gets foreclosed or something, um, but she never moves out, which seems like the unlikely part of the story, but, um, the new owner of the house grew up there, and he's surly and mean, and they're going to fight, and then they happen to work together as well, and he has a no dating policy at work, and which hurts like her best friend who wants to marry um, a coworker. So they hatch a plan to the girls hatch a plan to make him fall in love with her, and that way he will break the no dating policy. I think it's gonna work. Um, so what's so great about this drama, like Love Triangle, they introduced a new character recently who I think is going to be the Love Triangle, right? Because he sees she's cute, he can admit it right away, all of that stuff. So there's going to be a little Love Triangle there, but we know who's going to win in the end. Um, misunderstanding, so I mean so much right now, I, I think that like the fact that she's kind of um, using him to get, break the no dating policy is probably going to be the misunderstanding in the plot. Um, because they sort of have to like, you know, she's gonna have to admit that and then does she really love him? Is she doing it because of this thing? We'll find out. I think she does. Um, bad guy turn good. Clearly this is a bad guy turn good uh, plot. He's a total jerk in the beginning. He's like OCD and like really won't deal with people eating chicken in the office and crazy things. But now he's going to find love. Uh, fashion. So this show is really cute fashion, I think. Um, it's one of the Taiwanese shows that I actually think has like one of the, the cutest female um, fashion. Usually Taiwanese dramas don't have great female fashion, but this time I really like it. Um, the male fashion, he looks great. I mean, it's really like sharp, tight suits, very cream. Music, um, I don't really... There's a cute intro song, but nothing is like super standing out to me. Kiss, we have not had a kiss yet, but we've had two nude scenes. One, I mean, not actual nude scenes. But scenes where the characters see each other naked. So, I mean, that's dramatic. There should be at least a kiss in there somewhere. Piggyback ride. Um, she gives him a piggyback ride, I think, because she poisons him. Um, but that's all I think so far. So, yeah, that's that's it for this drama. I totally recommend watching it. Um, by the way, uh, I don't know if I've mentioned this yet, but dramacrazy.net is gone. But dramacrazy.eu is back. So you can watch it on Drama Crazy. You can also watch it on Good Drama. I'm sure you can watch it on Vicky and Drama Fever um, if you if you live in the States. So definitely check this drama out. It's Taiwanese um, and it's really, really fun. So check it out and I recommend it. Bye, guys.